um, I read uh, around beginning of 2000 years until now, around 20 years, I think Chinese you know, you have a lot of change. Uh, maybe early time we have more sexual contents, but in currently we, uh, if you try to looking for some sexual contents, it's become more and more difficult. In yeah. majority, uh, your fictions, your novels, the sexual contents become very very tiny part of that. Mm -hmm. uh, like the mm, the novel you mentioned, uh, the. Uh, Model Zhu Shi, yeah, that yeah. fiction around uh, 500,000 Chinese characters, but the real sexual content, I think it's maximum 1,000 Chinese words. It's yeah. very tiny part of whole fictions. That one is very typical example in Chinese, current Chinese Yao uh, Yi environments, I think. Um, I think in for female to reading your especially for Asian, for Chinese audience, it's a way mm, make themselves less feeling guilty, less feeling have moral boundary, have mm, safe to engage with some sexual contents. I think that one is very essential reason to how those audience to engage with that because in majority Chinese mainstream culture, we believe uh, any female, if you talk about sex, if you uh, enjoy sex, if you uh, consume sex, it's very, uh, well, we will receive very negative evaluation from others. It's quite high moral requirement for, to female, but uh, we know the normal human need it. And the, the romantic relationship uh, generally will go that step. So the yaoi become a safety and reasonable way to let this female to engage with us. I think that's why uh, yaoi always engage some kind of erotic material, but it's also become quite important labor in this part of cultures. Mm. Chinese uh, general policy, um, all the sexual descriptive is not appropriate and not illegal for release to public, especially uh, besides the medical use. <laughs> in majority general sexual content, Theoretically, it's illegal in China. <laughs> I think the majority Chinese yao yi based on online fictions, and we know uh, they got extremely success TV drama, and uh, the actor become extremely success. It's mm -hmm. become a kind of the easy way to make a character, make an actor become extremely success and popular actors. But uh, mm, I think in some way it's, it, I think it make Yaoi become less Yaoi things. It's, mm -hmm. It become, because they try mm -hmm. to uh, fit into the authority checking system, authority requirements. Yeah. So it makes the romantic relationship become some, uh, other things, uh, yeah. brotherhood or some uh, very close friendship, uh, those kind of things. In some way, uh, the Yaoi stuff try to be accepted by mainstream culture. They make Yaoi become not a uh, not Yaoi thing, <laughs> not the Yao. Um, it makes the thing makes the stuff one side extremely successful, but the, the in other side it's go far away from the yaoi things. Uh, like the TV drama, they may adding the female characters. They waiting for the authority to decide whether my adding storyline make the female characters uh, have other romantic relationship with the the. Uh, the main characters, because 
uh, the Chinese authority tried to uh, maintain the heteronormative uh, rules in all the media stuff. So uh, Chinese yaoi culture become uh, extreme popular, but in other ways it has been uh, transformed in very different ways. And I think uh, in other things is yaoi become a big business. It's a social with very, very high economic interests, even for the Western, uh, like the, the main actor for the X-Men, the actors show, uh, intensely, intensely show uh, the two main characters wear clothes uh, and they have, they uh, read the fan fiction in, um, in some shoes, I think, and they show the fan, fan art, the fan drawing in the shoes, say, oh, we love it, we love each other. And it's a um, way um, they're selling the film, they're selling, they try to uh, make themselves more popular, make the film more popular. They using those elements, using these fans, because fans really love those things. Fan fancy and crazy about their behavior, their interaction in very daily um, daily events. And like the uh, the film last year, I think it's called the Venom, the the Mount the um, hero film. That's the Venom. Yeah, yeah, the Venom, and uh, it's the the film. Uh, mainly about the uh, main character's relationship with the uh, his alien partner. It's become a whole uh, focus on the the romantic, the kind of romantic and kind of yaoi stuff to this film. So I think in global range, range the yaoi become quite popular and po quite uh, general and quite uh, be accepted in majority audience, but it's also a big um, economic interest. Uh, people have huge economic motivation to engage with us and uh, produce those stuff to uh, attract those fans. Uh, I think uh, compare the sci-fi fiction um, maybe that may have a little bit more difficult to Western audience, but uh, I think the main thing because the sci-fi story generally is based on the future, the technique, the things, the main theme about human being and uh, other aliens or environments or something. But for Dame, it's more focused on the romantic relationship. The, mm -hmm. I think the most difficult thing may be the, some uh, background about the methodology things, the Chinese methodology things. Like we have uh, the survey mentioned about the animal and the human and how human transform become an animal, animal transfer to human. It's mm -hmm. a quite common element in China, Japan, or Korea, most uh, East country. It's a quite common and normal things in our methodologies, but uh, mm -hmm. it's quite a little bit bizarre for Western audience. I think that's yeah. what may be the main thing. But I think it's most difficult thing is translation. If we yeah. got a right, um, term to translate those things. And uh, we build a system to uh, set uh, those things should be in this way in every fiction we use those systems. I think that one will be much easier to Western audience. Uh, yes, I think for the, the so I think the three normal from Mo Xiangtou to translate to English is more kind of the fantasy about the, the story rather than romantic story. Uh, I think it's quite 
common in Chinese theory because we limited the romantic and the erotic. So we go on the side, we put the yaoyi as a key element, but the, uh, I think it's quite important to the way the Chinese yaoyi normal website, how they run the, uh, run the company, because the author, uh, when they release a novel and uh, become quite popular and the new chapter, they start to uh, ask all the reader to pay. Um, when the story is longer, the more pay they will get. So mm -hmm. um, the author tend to make the story longer and longer compared with the simple romantic story. The other story much easier to make the extremely long story, uh, such as uh, Mo Xiang Tong Chou's, uh, the, the, the other one, the, 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 uh, the Ren Zha Shemu Shemu Si Tong Ren, that one, the other story. Uh, actually, the characters repeat the stories. They go the venture again and again. They do quite a lot of uh, similar stories. Uh, yeah. Even in this Modal Zu Shi, the answer to portray the, uh, compared with main characters, she portrayed a lot of other characters, make the other characters' story become quite rich and interesting. Uh, in some ways, it makes the story more interesting, but the, the more elements they can join in this romantic story makes the romantic story much longer and much interesting. I think in that way, compared with the simple yaoi romantic story, the fantasy venture and some uh, Chinese mythology uh, theme makes this, those kind of story can explore the Western market quite well and in Chinese market also quite well. Uh, I think some like the drift or some animal things, maybe it, uh, especially for underage uh, characters, maybe especially um, risk in Western. But I think um, one side, if it's translated to English, it first thinks the, the translator like the story, translator uh, accepts the story and uh, through the translator can evaluate whether this story uh, appropriates to the Western audience, mm -hmm. uh, such as uh, in recent years, many Chinese theory stories start to uh, make the father song story become extremely popular in Chinese theory audience. Uh, I noticed that. I think, oh, it's quite uh, risky in Western cultures because the father-son relationship is an extremely taboo relationship and uh, the higher power and con control situation to the young children is quite immoral and illegal, definitely in West. But it's become extremely uh, in Chinese audience. But if you are a translator, I think the translator will consider whether this story will accept mm -hmm. by Western audience. Even the translator will not be make uh, themselves into a risky situation, a bad situation. So because, because I think in Chinese Yaoi, we have a huge uh, answer at the audience. The story can go the fantasy or sci-fi, we have very good yaoi sci-fi story. Uh, mm -hmm. Even Japanese yaoi actors, they make quite high level sci-fi story. Yaoi is one element, but we can put it into any kind of fictions, mm -hmm. the revenge or the, the city story, the true romance story, because in general, every type of fiction we always have some re romantic relationship in that. So the yaoi story can put in any type of fiction in that. So I think um, even we have some 
cultural difference in different types story, but uh, we have range selection in that. Mm -hmm. The translator can select which type is more fit, fit into the Western culture, which type is uh, more well more popular in China, which type is more popular in West. Mm -hmm. So I think that one is uh, will not make Yao Yi become uh, have very bad reputation about Chinese Yao Yi in West. I think we're still quite safe. Uh, I think it still needs to take time because sci-fi have the own bad type uh, in near uh, last century, early last century in America. Um, the sci-fi just very low level of uh, literature. It's still not a very good thing. It's uh, in quite low stats in literature hi hierarchy systems. Sci-fi mm -hmm. is still quite in low situation. The of course male male romance is lower than sci-fi, but mm -hmm. I think we still need to take time because the sci-fi has a current achievement because they got they have great work. Mm -hmm. But in current Yao Yu story, we're still in quite uh, ordinary and uh, uh, very general level of the um, stuff, the story, the TV drama. We don't have very um, great work uh, in, no matter in literature, in film or in anything. We're still in uh, the male male romance currently is, a, we have big markets but it's uh, very consumed, very quick and very easy culture stuff, rather than have very high situation, high level state stuff. But I think uh, when sometimes if the Yao Yi got very high level work, we may uh, go with that direction. We can go that direction female work, female fiction, female novel can go that direction. But uh, I think currently, Yao Yi, we're still in very young situation, young age. I think this culture, so far we only have around 50 years because how Yao Yi become a very popular culture is mm -hmm. in, we can see in many criticize about Chinese Yao Yi novel is the, uh, quality become low and low. The mm -hmm. author's age, author's story become poor and poorer. So uh, if the Yao Yi culture want to become a huge influence and a huge uh, and a better situation in more serious culture evaluating system, I think we still need to have better work. Many yeah. Yao answers they may start the writing around middle school or high school, they started writing and uh, continue to do some writing, especially so for fan arts. Uh, sometimes when I read some uh, Yao Yi fictions or Yao Yi uh, fan arts, the answer will say, oh, I need to uh, stop to writing that. I will join my uh, final exam for, yeah. or I need to <laughs> so prepare my exam about get the high school entry exam. I just really surprised how younger they are. And yeah. uh, I think when, uh, when they continue to work, when they continue to create those stories, we will get the great stories. We will get the very, very valued, great approved uh, work. Uh, mm -hmm. Even like the, maybe in sometimes like the sci-fi fiction, the very fine, famous sci-fi fiction, Esther used her fake name, used his fake name to write sci-fi and deny, I'm not a sci-fi fiction, I'm mm -hmm. a serious literature Esther. Mm -hmm. I don't do sci-fi fiction, that's why it's not mine. I think that is take time was the Esther grow up when they, continue to practice the writing, I think we will get the better story. We will get better work.